Hello, beautiful people of the fragrance community. Mike here with Eye Smell. Hope everybody is having an amazing week. Okay, so I don't know a better way to state this than just going ahead and stating it. It goes without saying that for a small channel, this milestone that I'm about to show you is monumental. Somehow, some way, the universe provided, and I ended up injecting myself into Mr. Smelly's most recent live stream. I smell keep saying he's Fragcom's sexiest reviewer. Isn't it time you put your money where your mouth is? There's a link here if you want to join the stream. Talk the talk, fine, Mr. I smell, but now it's time to walk the walk. You're invited onto the show. He said he's the sexiest fragrance reviewer. Um, let's see, shall we? Mr. I smell, hello. Hello. Yes, we can hear you. Let's know in the comments if everyone can hear this gentleman. It's but, lovely to have you on the channel. And but thanks. can you, but can you see me like this? Yep. I am the epitome. I am the epitome of sexy. Well, I'm certainly not going to disagree with you, uh, and I do respect you for having the, the courage to come on the stream. We're having a few people um, commenting. Someone says, "Oh, my, man, Michael, you've got some balls, brother." Says my two cents, and Big someone says, ball. "You have nice teeth." <laughs> It's a family channel. Thank you. Uh, someone says you have nice teeth. Uh, Thank you. So there you go. And, you know, doing stuff like this is a really good move. You know, be brave. Be brave. Yeah. And uh, you get stuck in. And I, I really respect you for coming on here. Not that I'm a big deal, but, you know, you put yourself in front of some new people. Someone there's just said you've got one new subscriber. And so I do encourage people to let's let's see how high we can get Mike's sub count just to show that we yeah. are. Despite the terrible things people think about me, I am a positive person. So let's see how many new subscribers we can give to him to show that we are the positive force in the fragrance community. And well, I don't think you're going to make my sexiest video uh, <laughs> reviewers video part two, but maybe part three. Let's let's see yeah. how we go. Listen, you guys, two months ago, I was conceptualizing in my head how I was going to go about starting a fragrance related YouTube channel. Two months later, I am sharing a live stream with Mr. Smelly. That is monumental, you guys. And it goes without saying that setting your intentions is real. Write your goals down, pursue those goals. They will manifest if you work hard enough. A big portion of this channel, a big portion of pursuing your goals is showing up. So write your intentions down, start a vision board, and just go for it, you guys. You have to take a risk. Big risk, big rewards. Again, thank you, Mr. Smelly. I know you are completely honored and privileged to have finally met the newest and most sexiest reviewer in the fragrance community. Okay, so the next thing on the agenda revolves around the most recent giveaway I did in my latest video. Be aware that the giveaway is still ongoing. You still have time to enter. I will not be picking a winner for another three to four days. So if you are not aware of that video, I do encourage you to check that video out and find out what needs to be done in order to enter the giveaway. I will pick a winner here in the next three or four days. Unfortunately, I do not have a community tab. You do not get a community tab until 1,000 subscribers. So I will be picking a random winner in my next upload as proof that this is not fakery, that this is not a scam, I am sending a 10 milliliter decant of Guerlain Ideal EDP along with the shower gel. It's literally right here, you guys, in a secure package, just waiting for your name to be put on it. I look forward to sending this out to one lucky subscriber. Good luck, you guys. So now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about what the concept of this video is. It's not rocket science. Today we're gonna to be reviewing and I'll be giving my impressions of a fragrance that comes out from the UAE, from the United Arab Emirates. It's from the house of Al Kharaman and that's Amber Oud Rouge. We have a lot of information to get through in this review, you guys. I'll see y'all on the other side of the intro. Okay, so Al Kharaman Amber Oud Rouge is a fragrance that came out in 2019. And as is the case with many fragrances coming out of the UAE, you're gonna be hard pressed to find out who the actual perfumer is. I'm not able to pin that down. Good luck actually finding out who that is. 
What's important to note here is that the house of Al Kharman is a house which makes respectable dupes, respectable clones, respectable inspirations of way more expensive fragrances. In this case, the fragrance that they mean to emulate is Baccarat Rouge 540. So I'm neither a chemist nor a perfumer. However, looking at it with bro science, it's safe to assume that a lot of these Middle Eastern houses and clone houses in general are gaining a competitive edge in the market due to the fact that technologies and machines using gas chromatography and mass spectrometry machines to where they are basically, long story longer, are able to reverse engineer a fragrance and find out the various compounds within that fragrance. They will then use that data to quantify and measure the type of ingredients needed in order to create these inspired fragrances. I've heard many people in the fragrance community say, and I'm inclined to agree, that you can't one-to-one -one completely clone a fragrance. However, the technology is getting good enough to where the differences that you are going to notice are going to be negligible. Somebody outside the fragrance community, someone who's not a no snob, and even in many cases, as in the case of this fragrance, even the frag heads aren't going to be able to tell the difference. Yeah, if they just have the bottle maybe, but they're not going to be able to tell the difference once it's actually sprayed and dried down. Okay, so for those of y'all who are not already aware, this is an amber floral, AKA a warm floral fragrance. So the majority of this fragrance is gonna be floral dominated. The scent profile is rather simplistic. However, this scent DNA, similar to Aventus, has been duped and cloned, and there are many and many inspirations of this scent profile. As it relates to this scent profile in general, I don't feel it to be blind by worthy if you've never smelt this scent profile. However, if you are familiar with the scent profile and you don't have the three, four, five hundred dollars to spend, this is gonna be a respectable version of Baccarat Rouge 5. 40. As it relates to Baccarat Rouge 540, we will be doing a side-to-side -side comparison. I feel it to be more advantageous and more thorough when I review these dupes to let y'all know just how similar they are because at the end of the day, this is a $50 to $60 fragrance and this is a three, four, five hundred dollar fragrance. So I know a lot of people in the fragrance community look down on it, but in all honesty, it's one of the reasons why I entered the fragrance community. I always thought knockoffs as like dollar store, like getting it at Fry's or like one of these like cheap knockoff places. But no, the technology is available now to where these companies are making respectable clones that smell damn near similar to the higher end versions. All right, you guys, so let's talk about the presentation for a bit. As I feel like Al Haramein does a good job at presenting their fragrances to the consumer. When you receive this fragrance, it is gonna come in this box and it will be in there. The box is beautiful, nice and heavy. It will open up to present the fragrance. You will notice a suede-like felt or whatever that is. And you can pull the fragrance out. It will be a gold-plated, machined-down bottle. You will have the amber rouge color present everywhere else on the bottle. And this is the 2.0 EDP. The cap is nice and heavy. It's a metal, mostly metal. There's some plastic on the inside. However, the cap is mostly metal. However, this is not a fragrance you want to hold by the cap at all. It takes a, see, it takes a lot of effort to close this cap and it's still not closed. At that point, you can hold it by the cap, but it's for that reason, I do not recommend that this is a fragrance you hold by the cap, you guys. Okay, so just so y'all are aware, I did spray Baccarat Rouge 540 on this hand, and I did spray Amber Oud Rouge on this hand. Once I get into what it smells like, I will talk about that. However, I also have two scent strips that I will spray each fragrance as well to kind of convey to you guys what I smell. However, there are a couple caveats before I spray this fragrance because I am sort of biased. The first being the price. 
This is not my favorite scent profile. Therefore, when I talk about it, I may not be as excited as some people. Some people go absolutely gaga for this scent profile. However, just be warned, this is not my favorite scent profile. As a collector, this is a scent profile that I want on my shelf, but I'm not gonna pay three, four, five hundred dollars for this scent profile. Secondly, I don't wear fragrances for other people to give me compliments or for other people to say, hey, what's that smell? I wear fragrances because I like the way it smells. I like smelling myself. And this is a fragrance that is universally known for people to go anosmic to. And what I mean by anosmic is it causes nose fatigue. It causes people to go nose blind. Thirdly, you guys, I find this scent profile to be rather feminine. I enjoy the fragrance, how it smells. However, I'm not convinced that I like the way this fragrance smells on me per se. I almost would prefer this to be worn by my fiance. I find it to be rather feminine and this is coming from someone who enjoys unisex fragrances. So just take all that into consideration if you're looking at buying this fragrance. All right, you guys, so I have the Baccarat Rouge and I have the Amber Oud Rouge. I'm gonna spray one on each scent strip and I'm gonna let y'all know what I smell. Notable notes on this fragrance include at the top, saffron, Middle notes of this fragrance will include jasmine, and the base notes include musk, ambergris, and a white cedar extract. Atomizer's fair, above average to be honest. Okay, and so just to be completely honest, the Baccarat Rouge 540 is better blended. I can smell the Baccarat Rouge in the air immediately. I'm only now starting to smell the Amber Oud Rouge. So take that into consideration. Baccarat Rouge is gonna be better blended. Okay, so I don't, I don't like the opening for either one of them, at least on the paper. So as it relates to the Baccarat Rouge 540, I feel like it smells like latex gloves. And with the Amber Oud Rouge, I feel like it smells like burning plastic. It's, both of these fragrances are very synthetic in the opening. However, the Baccarat Rouge 540 is better blended. The magic of this Amber Oud fragrance is when the dry down happens. Give it like five minutes. That's when the fragrances, the both of the fragrances become almost indistinguishable from each other. I would say 95% of this fragrance life, they smell almost indistinguishable and you won't be able to smell the difference. Okay, so I have the dry down as well. Okay, so like I said, the majority of this fragrance is gonna be saffron and jasmine. Saffron and jasmine, the floral notes of both of those are what dominate the fragrance. Saffron has like a soft, intimate, sexy leather type vibe and the jasmine creates a very sexy, alluring scent profile. It's a white flower. However, it fits the Red Rouge bottle perfectly. They complement each other well. And overall, this is a rather simplistic scent profile. However, it does provide a cotton candy, leathery, warm vibe, a leathery, warm demeanor about this fragrance. It will work very well for dressed up. Okay, so the performance of Amber Oud Rouge is going to be good. It's gonna be above average. You're gonna get six to eight hours. You won't have to overspray. Just be aware that you are gonna think it doesn't have good performance. You're gonna go anosmic, and there are gonna be instances where you end up overspraying because you don't smell it anymore. Just be aware that you're most likely getting nose fatigue. As I was getting reacclimated with this fragrance, I wore it for a few hours and I wore it to bed actually and then my fiance said, oh, that smells good. What is that? Is that the Baccarat Rouge? I was like, yeah, that is. I couldn't smell it on me anymore. Just be aware that you are still pumping. It does have a very pleasant scent bubble. As it relates to the versatility, I feel like as with most leather sweet floral scents, those are gonna be geared more towards cold weather and I am inclined to say that this is a fragrance that you would want to dress up. However, fragrances don't have a gender. Fragrances don't necessarily have a season. You can wear whatever you want, whenever you wear it. If you buy it, wear it. I see a lot of people claiming that this scent profile is signature scent worthy and I'm not gonna disagree. 
just because it doesn't speak to me personally doesn't mean that you can't wear it as your signature scent. At the end of the day, it does smell good. I feel like it's just too feminine and too synthetic for me personally. That's Alha Romain Amber Oud Rouge in a nutshell. And at the end of the day, do I recommend it? I recommend it only if you don't have this scent profile on your shelf already and you are a collector. At that point, I believe it's blind buy worthy. However, if you aren't familiar with that scent profile, just get a sample, spend the $10, spend the $15, get the sample so you know first whether you like it or not because this fragrance is gonna cost you 50 or $60. That may not be a lot of money to some, but for some people that is a lot of money and if you get it and then you don't like it, you're gonna wish you would've got something else. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoy fragrance related content, I am gonna encourage you to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. Not only is it gonna strengthen the YouTube algorithm, it's gonna ensure that you're able to stay tuned into future content that I upload. Again, you guys, I really appreciate the support. Stay tuned for the next video as we will be doing a giveaway. Take care, y'all stay safe. All right, bye.